Hi, welcome to a new video. In this video, it's going to be a photography one. I want to talk about this camera that I've bought. Um, it's a Samsung NX1100. It was out in 2013. It's a 20 megapixel APS-C camera. I want to see how it compares to nowadays. I'm at a local reservoir called Chase Water, so we're going to do some photography. But before all of that, make sure you like, subscribe, and click that bell icon to keep updated with all my stuff, especially going out in the camera and all photography stuff, and just junk freely. So anyway, let's get on. First of all, I'll explain why I actually bought it. Well, basically, I actually bought it off a car boot. I like going to car boot sales, and it was from a seller that's always there. He sells cakes, but this was his son's, and so it was in good condition. Now, I got the camera and the 20 to 50 mil lens, and as well, a 50 to 200 mil lens for 50 quid. In really good condition with it. It came with the bag as well. You can see the video when I actually bought it, and I tested it out at Shugborough, but this is more about it. Like I say, it was released in um, April of 2013. I've retail price of $600 I think that was about £500 can't find out exactly and that came with the 20 to 50 mil lens I mean it is pretty compact camera as you can see and I mean the measurements is 114 by 63 by 37 mil for the actual camera itself and even today it's pretty slim and it looks nice as well yes it's white which is going to make it dirty over time and I mean the reason I bought it was basically I sell stuff on eBay which is actually ironically old cameras and I want something just for that upstairs so I don't use the other ones because they're downstairs unfortunately with my spawner problem getting downstairs sometimes doesn't happen so anyway so that's the basics we'll carry on and I'll explain a little bit more as well anybody's ever seen any of my videos you know I like photography but I'm a micro four thirds user I use Panasonic cameras I've got a Panasonic G80 and a G100 and various lenses so it wasn't intentional going for a different system I mean this is now defunct Samsung came out the market ages ago um, their proprietary lenses for this there wasn't that many available I don't think um, but for the price of it like I say I can't really complain um, and that's really the reason I actually bought it was the price and just to have a play around Again, this is a bigger sensor than what I've actually got in my highest megapixel camera, which is the G100. That's a 20 megapixel. This is, well, let's get it right, 20.3 megapixels. Got to think about that 0.3. Um, but anyway, uh, like I say, and this is a bigger sensor size. But then you still do have like sight drawbacks and everything else because of being an older camera. You know, like I say, the screen isn't that great. It's a three inch TFT um, screen. It's not great in sunlight. You've got no EVF. So when it's sunlight like this, it's hard to compose your shots. You've got no tilty out screen and everything anything else the video mode it is good it's not too bad it's 1080 and it's 30 frames a set up to 30 frames a second right this is off the camera now I've got the camera about two foot away from me again the problem is is because I've got now flippy screen I can't see if I'm in frame or anything like that and as well the only thing is is the lens that came with it which is the 20 to 50 mil doesn't have any stabilization and the camera doesn't have any um, in-body stabilization at all so you're relying on the lens and this one doesn't come with it though the 50 to 200 does so I'm not too sure how this is going to sound or if I've come out of Okay. but like I say at the end of the day this was 11 years ago so and it was an entry-level camera so what do you expect really? So anyway let's get on let's get a few more shots and I'll let's again carry on about the camera and see what we get anyway wait I've got to get back up We've got 
got all different mode settings. You've got their own like smart, which will try and decide all the settings for you. You've got the program, which is then basically the same, but then you can adjust all the settings. You've got aperture, you've got shutter speed, and then you've got full manual mode. You've then got um, smart effects, which there's about 12, I think, effects on that. And like you've got miniature toy camera and negative and everything else on there. And then you've got one that will actually do frames as well around it. I mean, they're a little bit tacky, but not great. And the only thing is with those is you, it only saves as a JPEG and then you don't have the raw file to really go off as well. I've just had to sit down for a minute because my back's going and because if you don't know me and you haven't seen any of my videos I've got this spinal problem which causes me a lot of problems walking and it means I can't get out as much with the camera and camper which is what I like to do but that is just another thing anyway so I'm just having five minutes but like I was just saying about the lenses that some seem to be stabilized and some don't um, but there's one function I like and it's on this one and the other and I think it's on all of the range which this took its own mount which was the Samsung NX mount um, now so the you've got because on the camera body itself you haven't got that many dials to adjust settings and everything else the screen isn't touch screen so they've put a button on the, the lens which is called intelligent FN button and from there you depend on which mode you're in you can change it so that then on the actual camera you press that you get a menu on the screen that then you use the focus ring to actually adjust those settings from ISO to aperture to so to speak again dependent on what mode you're actually in go quickly through some of the other specs on it as well I mean you've got ISO between 100 and 1280 um, shutter speed the maximum length is 30 seconds down to I think it's 400th of a second that four thousandths of a second um, I mean the one good thing is you've got exposure bracketing so you've got white balance and exposure on there as well you can only do it on three points but that's not too bad again for a camera of this age it's not it's not too bad I mean the menu like say to navigate these things isn't the best but again what do you expect um, I mean also you've got like the flash unit which basically fits in the hot shoe mount now that is removable and you could have got a, a GPS um, module on there as well I mean the one thing that I've seen in some old reviews was the autofocus wasn't absolutely brilliant again I've had a few bits and pieces with it but again it seems to be dependent on the lens it's not too bad you've got 15 points of autofocus and you've even got face detection as well As you can see, I'm back at the camper. That's done me in, that has. Um, but anyway, talking about the camper, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I converted this, it's a Peugeot partner, into a little camper about three years ago, and I do try and take it away and do photography trips and everything else. I mean, if you want to see how I actually built it and a bit about it, I'll put a link up here to the playlist and in the description as well. Well, anyway, final thoughts onto this camera. 
again for what I've paid for it I mean I got a very good deal like I say I got it for 50 quid with the two lenses and to be honest this on its own goes for 150 on eBay with the one lens the other lens goes for 100 150 so I can make easily you know 200 quid profit not a problem um, but I didn't buy it for that I bought it just so that I could play around with it. I mean the camera for its age it is really good I mean the pictures still do hold up a little bit I mean I should have come out for sunrise this morning um, but unfortunately my, my back wasn't having any of it so I just went to the playing field just a very quick walk away from me and I took some pictures so these are on screen now and I mean the camera itself is still pretty good like I say I mean it's a 20 megapixel well 22 megapixel 20 megapixel effective APS-C um, sensor in there and it, it produces pretty good results even on the JPEG and then the raw files you can edit them you know and bring back some of those highlight shadows and everything else and, and, and do what you really want with them um, I mean yes like I say having the external flash not great but you don't really need that on and having no EVF and the crappy screen isn't the greatest but it's like I say it still does really hold up I think anyway. The thing is, is most people today, we, we, a lot of people are taking pictures with their smartphones. This is still a lot better than the smartphone for what I've paid a 50 quid camera from 11 years ago. And it's got some good functionality. You know, some of it seemed ahead of its time, I would have thought. It's just, unfortunately, Samsung didn't stick it out. Again, the camera market at that point, it was starting to be a decline. Again, now it is actually picking up. But again, it, it, it's more an enthusiast market really now for what i've paid i can't fault it it's not one i'm going to be carrying around when i'm going out in this and doing my photography and as well for me with the versatility i like to say i've got this one lens which is the which is why mostly what i've took today which is the 12 to 50 and then the 50 to 200 so i've got a large range of focal lengths that i've got in this camera so again a nice little kit for what i've got anyway so like i say I've enjoyed playing around with this. I've, I'm glad I've got it. Have a look on eBay. You even may see this one for sale at some point. I don't know. Um, but it, it is worth having a play around with them. And like I say, for me, it's, it's, it's absolutely great. So anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. I always keep doing this. So anyway, I just want to say anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you do, like, subscribe, do all that kind of YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. So bye. Bye for now. Bye. If you've ever been what yeah. right those are the reasons but yeah but yeah that I, I well anyway let's put this down you've got several miles on it you've got their own <clears throat> mild wise you've got all different yeah two dials and two so to access things you haven't got as mm.